Welcome back to the video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. Today I want to show you what to do if your screen freezes or your touch screen stops working on the Moto G Stylus 2023. The first thing you'll need to do is hold down on the power and the volume down button on the right side here. You're going to hold these two buttons here for basically until your screen goes off, okay? Uh, it usually it takes about 10 to 20 seconds. It just depends. So I'm going to demonstrate the process right now. So power, put your thumb on the power button and uh, another finger on the volume down and we're just going to hold it. One, two, three, hold, same time. It is going to trigger a screenshot. That's what you see in the bottom left corner. Continue to hold those two buttons until the screen goes black. There you go. Once it goes black, that means the phone has triggered the soft reset. You can let go of the buttons as soon as that screen goes dark and now give your phone just a minute to restart. And a couple of things I want you to keep in mind. So um, once the phone restarts, usually if there was an app or something that was causing your phone to glitch, this will fix it. And the touchscreen should be working once the phone finishes restarting. However, if you dropped your phone, cracked your phone, or have done something to the screen, this may not be the fix for you. Uh, this is the first thing you want to try. And if this doesn't work, the next thing I recommend is take your phone to a local cell phone service and repair center and have it diagnosed. The issue could also be that your touchscreen is going out or could be broken, and that's why your screen isn't responsive. So. This is plan A. Plan B is taking it to the repair shop and having a professional look at the phone to give you the recommendation. All right. We'll give it a few more seconds here. You'll see that it's gonna just boot through the entire setup process. And then you should be able to drag your finger across the screen and unlock it and use the phone. And so, hey, our soft reset was successful and now my touch screen is working again. All right. Hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.